three, two, one, paint. Hey, Miss Pally, I'm Allie, and have you ever taken an electric toothbrush out of your mouth without turning it off first? <laughs> These things cause a crazy spray everywhere, so I got to thinking, wouldn't it be cool to put paint on a ton of them and then turn them all on at once and create art? As soon as that thought came to me, I immediately purchased 100 electric toothbrushes. What a great idea that I won't regret. Well, that was an entire year ago, and then two days after my purchase, I just realized I have no way of turning on a ton of toothbrushes all at once. Pushing all the buttons one right after another would be extremely lame. I'm not doing that. So I've had 100 electric toothbrushes in my studio for a whole year of regretting my decision. But screw that, I'm gonna unregret this because today I figured out how to make an electric circuit to turn them on all at once. That was a long time ago. I don't know if I'm remembering the total correctly. This doesn't look like 100. According to my Amazon history, it was 30. So great, we're already at 70% less regret. Now I just have to teach myself about electricity. This is perfect. 30 toothbrushes was meant to be because here is what I've arrived at. Each toothbrush is powered by one AAA battery. A AAA battery is 1.5 volts. 1.5 times 30 equals 15. A 15 volt AC adapter is quite common. So I'll just take one of these and solder it to connect all all of the toothbrushes, plug it in, and voila, all 30 on at once. <clears throat> Confidently showing you math on screen has even me convinced that's a good idea, but maybe let's just get a second opinion because electricity is opinion-based. I'm very lucky. Ian Charnas, a brilliant YouTuber, engineer, artist, creator, maker person, has offered to talk to me about my project. So that's why you're here, to tell me if I'm making the right choices <laughs> and not die. I think you're making the right life choices, but let's let's dive oh, okay. deeper. We'll, we'll talk about the electronics. I was gonna solder them all together and then plug it in. Um, it would make for good video. You would see some smoke coming out of your wires and your toothbrushes, and then you would hear a popping noise and it's your circuit breaker blowing. Okay. Um, but electrically, that would not be um, the final solution. <laughs> so I think what we want to do is a little surgery. So we've got toothbrush one. Somewhere, I think on the handle, you're going to have that uh, that red button, right? You've removed that red button. What you're going to see is two wires coming out. We essentially want to connect these all to either a relay or a push button. When you turn this thing on, then they'll all turn on at once. Wow. Um, yeah, that seems way better than the thing that I said. If you didn't know what this was. What does it look like? Two hot dogs playing double dutch? Oh my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And it sounds okay. like a fun project. It is now, but I know what I'm doing. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, it seems that Ian's opinions on electricity were different than mine. I guess I'll go with his plan. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I feel like Wiley e. Coyote He's performing some toothbrush surgery. Interesting, there are not wires in here. It's this little piece of clicky metal, and when you click it, it makes contact with a little metal dot in there, which, come on, completes the circuit. And so I think I can just solder that dot to the switch, and then the metal clicky thing to the switch, and it will work. And no, it won't. Ian predicted this when I sent him a picture of the toothbrush guts. This is probably steel, because steel is cheap, and solder won't stick to steel. Oh no, I should not have done this here. <gasps> just proved the grass isn't real, it's now melty. Let's just not send this video to my landlord. New plan, we're using electrically conductive epoxy, which looks dangerous and difficult. Well, actually, very smart engineer person Ian suggested electrically conductive epoxy, but when I searched for it, Amazon suggested this much cheaper, probably too good to be true wire glue which has no warnings on it so we're trying this first because in my electrical opinion this will be fine thinking i need about three feet of this no i don't own wire cutters once again hot glue making my dreams come true i don't want to have to sit here and hold the wire in place for question mark amount of minutes because there's nothing written on this about set time so the hot glue has them tacked in place and then the glue is setting now i think i hope okay let's go it worked! It's on! <laughs> I can't believe I don't regret using wire glue. And now I just have to wire every single toothbrush up to this switch and we will have our robot painting device. Let's get these all open, which it's disconcerting that they've decided to open themselves. I'm really glad I don't plan on putting any of these in my mouth. Wait, there are definitely more than 30 here. <laughs> I forgot that I waited until Amazon had a sale on toothbrushes to buy them, and so they cut me off at 30 because I guess that's shady. I don't know, they're mad I have over 960 teeth. I mean, 30 toothbrushes is enough to last. Braxton, shut up. He's brushing his teeth with his bone right now. <laughs> 30 toothbrushes is enough to last one person over seven and a half years. So anyway, I remember now I dodged Amazon's limit thusly. Can you please use your unsuspicious Amazon account to buy me 20 toothbrushes? They cut me off. What? <laughs> Yeah, I forgot I even documented that. Also, do you remember buying me 20 toothbrushes about a year ago? No. I'm sorry, you did too many weird things. No, none of them stick out. 
<laughs> so I actually have 50 toothbrushes. Great, 20% more regret. No, this is fine, it's gonna work. Wait, I don't really know how these are gonna paint. I was just assuming what the spray would look like based on the fact that it hits me in the face occasionally. Oh, hello, sir, would you like to be a part of my painting test? You don't like it? Oh no, he hates it. Putting paint on a toothbrush is such a familiar act, yet yeah, such a weird act. Okay, let's go. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There we go. It's taking its time, surprisingly. Does that look like if Jackson Pollock was Optimus Prime? <laughs> I mean, that sounds like art. Okay, I think I got it. After many pages of mediocre arting, I've discovered that you probably have to get the viscosity just right and the right parallelness to the page. Now, how do I arrange them? Because I'm not gonna just put them on the canvas and turn them on. That would not be as good as suspending them. So I gotta get them to hang over the canvas. But in what shape arrangement should I hang them? What is the best configuration to create the most optimal art? Here's how one bot pattern is gonna look, kind of, and then the toothbrushes face this way. Now, if I arrange them all in a grid, then we have it. Okay, let's try putting them in a spiral. Maybe that'll be less gross. Yeah, that does look better. I think going circular is probably the move. Though, I'm trying to take control over the medium here, and this really should be just turning on the bots and letting them do their thing. Remember when I said I wasn't gonna turn them all on one right after another? I had to let them do their thing individually one last time before I make them all 50 conjoined twins. It may seem like I'm whipping through this project, but we are now on day four, and that's not even including any waiting for shipping supplies. But this specific part is going by faster than I expected. Well, they do turn on when I try and slice them. I've developed a pretty speedy system, so I am a very efficient toothbrush gutter now. I'm sorry to all the toothbrushes that are watching. I didn't mean to make you nauseous. Should have put a trigger warning. <laughs> I hope I am cutting this right. I don't have enough wire currently <laughs> exactly. More is supposed to be coming, but Amazon has it delayed. Why does this always happen? Working on a project, it gets closer to the deadline, something goes wrong, and now we're down to the wire. <laughs> if they're all 27 inches, I think that'll work. Here's committing. This is what I get when I order such a large volume of nonsense from Amazon. They're like, yeah, we'll just take our time with that psycho. It's 50 and 50 and I have to strip each side, so I have to strip 200 times. I should start an OnlyFans. <laughs> what is the easiest way to do this? Well, it would be to not use just scissors and have actual wire strippers, but nah, this is fine. My hands are already sore from cutting up the toothbrushes last night. I shouldn't be cutting any strands, but it's happening. I'm not the best electrician yet. This is so smooth and easy. Definitely not regretting this. Now I gotta do that exact same thing upside down. This is not the same, but backwards. It's hitting a spot 1 20th of the size. Why does the contact point have to be so small, Colgate? No, I have a dead one. It's not connecting at all, even the correct way. Great, 1% less regret. <sighs> Just four hours. And we're, we're there. And now I have 100 different points that could potentially fail on this project. I feel like I'm gonna regret using wire glue. Why am I listening to what Amazon suggested to me? We're going with Ian's suggestion, even though it's gonna be scary. It's just to use this Amazon box. Gotta get an equal amount of these or it won't work. And also I shouldn't breathe or touch it. We're outside, it's fine. And I have 20 minutes working time. This took four hours, so we're gonna have to be speedy on this round. I do believe there's actual silver in this and it is gorgeous. Shout out to my Patreon pallies who make it possible for me to gloop silver onto toothbrushes. What is happening? I don't know. but. Thank Thank you, it's because of you that it is. And if you are not a Patreon pally, but you wanna be the reason that more outrageous art exists in the world, I'll put a link in the description. I'm not gonna to point to it because I'm too busy, but it's down there. Oh, I can feel it getting thicker. Hello. So intense. I know. It's real silver, I think. How expensive was that? 
Thank you again to my Patreon pallies. At this point, when you're conductive epoxying your gutted toothbrushes at home, you're gonna notice that the epoxy is starting to get thick and gummy, and that's because you're going too slowly. Speed up. Okay, I'll let that set overnight. I'm gonna brush my teeth and go to bed. And we will see tomorrow if that worked, or I'm a dummy, perhaps both. It is, in fact, both. These ones all seem to be working. Yes, good. And these 12, it seems a little dot lost connection while it was drying, or the wire completely came off when I had to shoot this thumbnail. Have them back to all working, I think, and now I just have to connect all 50 reds together and 50 blacks together by soldering for the first time ever. This is a whole lot of connecting for my first time. Should I practice on something? Nah, it's like 10 wires is the limit for my heat shrink. There we go. Yes, 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 it's working. It is not the prettiest. But if that worked, this will turn one on. <laughs> I solder. Now I just have to do that 10 more times, and then five more times, and then a couple more times. If I'm doing it right, then all 10 of these will go at once. <laughs> okay, good. Now I have four bundles that need to go down to one. No! Chill, be cool! Well, that's a good sign. Oh no, I forgot to put the black wire through this. <laughs> Working on my small motor skills. <laughs> Man, I really like that one. <laughs> now I can make the switch. Moment of truth. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Some of them are not working. I need to fix their connections. Definitely not regretting this. 10 that I have to fix. Oh no. Why are they all faintly going? Are they touching each other at the switch? What is happening? Oh, this is bad. Oh, no. no! Okay. <sighs> the toothbrush's electrical opinion was that they wanted to turn on. Okay, I fixed about eight more, I think. They're all working, and now I have to relocate them to where I can use them to paint. Let's just have a regret-free stroll downstairs. And now I need a way to suspend them over the canvas, so... I think I'm gonna make a grid out of dowels, which that feels familiar. I made a dowel grid to hang my Christmas tree of trash. I did have to chop the tree down to shoot a music video in here. But this grid has been hanging out on my ceiling for three years. Here we go. <laughs> I would step over to my tool bench, but I don't have one. Unconfirmed if this system is gonna work. Not being very sturdy over there. No, come on. Okay, new plan. That'll do. This could go okay, and this could go poorly. I don't see it going well. Here's the tangly bunch. I don't think my grid is small enough to make them stay up here, and I feel like the grid's gonna get in the way of the paint, so maybe I should just hang them from the wires and hope my epoxy holds up. It rained this morning, so I had to hide my invention inside the geodesic dome from my AI art video. And then I realized we were gonna run into a problem because the toothbrushes were hanging too close to the grid and the paint would just land on the grid, so I had to rehang all of them. And that was a lot of jostling, so now 14 of them are disconnected and I have to fix that. And while I was soldering, I realized the first one that I wire glued is no longer working. So I'm very unregretful that we use the epoxy. Otherwise, all 50 would be broken right now. Okay, they are all hanging and vibrating, every single one, and it is time to load the brushes. This seems like the sensible way to do it. I think it worked. Definitely not regretting having to do this 50 times. Save the hardest one for last. We get in there, and we are loaded. <laughs> this is so exciting, and I am so nervous. Three, two, one, paint. They're slow. They're doing nothing. Ah, oh, I didn't use enough water. Stupid, why did I even test before if I can't get it right? Take two. Come on, please art for me. Three, two, one, paint. Nothing. Wow. Wait, yes, we have some movement over here. This one is happily painting. Now, how do I get all the other ones to act like that one? Hi, Braxton. It's not working. I did tons of tests, and it didn't matter, because now I can't make the material do what I want. It looks like the paint's too watery. No, it was not watery enough, and then it too watery. This, now nothing's happening. All those drips are me just knocking the toothbrushes. Just flip them over. It doesn't work even if they're upside down. That sucks. Ugh. My toothbrush painting dreams are dead. <laughs> That's not funny, this is serious. I don't want to believe that this isn't working, but the tooth hurts. 
I hate myself. I guess maybe they're just losing power? I don't think replacing all of these batteries is gonna fix it. Thank goodness this isn't sponsored by Colgate and their crappy toothbrushes. Mm -hmm. I was gonna make a stencil and then four different layers of colors to do an Optimus Prime. I can't do that now. This project took so long that I have not even a single minute more to maybe troubleshoot this. Ian thinks that the conductive epoxy could have caused a voltage drop and that's why they're not vibrating enough to spray. It would be impossible to start from scratch with thicker wire and still publish on time for you, Pally. So I truly appreciate you coming along with me for the journey not the destination. And make sure you're subscribed because I may end up getting this to work with a lot more work and then show you on YouTube Shorts. So this is what I wanted to create using 50 robots. Turns out it took eight days, over 54 hours of extremely hard work to prove that we needed my human hand and robots can't make art. If you liked this, you'll like seeing me not fail at turning my car into a color changing mood ring. I'll put that down there for you. It is coming out super chunky. Ugh. I don't know if this project is gonna work. I'm wasting a lot of time and money. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I want the entire surface of my car to be a mood ring, so it can tell me, am I angry in traffic, or relaxing on a joyride, or perhaps stressed about being able to pull off this giant challenging project